All right, guys. Hello and welcome back. So to start, I'm going to be using the 35N palette by Morphe. And I'm using that third shade on the first row. And again, I'm just using a fluffy blending brush. Happens to be a Morphe one. And I'm just applying this, as always, to the lid as my transition color. Um, and just total side note, I started this video off a little bit differently than I normally do. Um, I wasn't very happy with the intro. So here we are, just jumping right on into it. And we're just going to be applying that shade in windshield wiper motions, um, just getting it all over our lid. There's, again, no rhyme or reason. There's no right or wrong way in doing it. We just want to make sure that we get it all over our lid so that all of our colors that we're going to be adding on blend out smoothly. And then moving in with that second shade on, or the second shade on the second row from the 35R palette, and again, by Morphe. And I'm just applying this with just a, a fluffy blender brush again, but this is a little bit smaller and a little bit more precise to bring in the color into the crease. Um, this happens to be, I believe, a Smashbox brush, but any brush will work as long as it's uh, small enough to get really into that crease. This is where we're going to be building up that color to really carve out the shape of our eye. And I really want to bring and focus this color onto the outer corner of the eye. And once we build it up there, we can start bringing it in towards the inner corner of the eye. I kind of want to make it a like a oval kind of kind of thing um, and once you just build it up to the the color you like we can just go ahead and move on to the other eye Then going in with that third shade on the last row, and I'm going to be applying this just with a mini crease brush, and again, just focusing on the outer corner uh, to really deepen up this look, and again, just carve out that shape, that, that almond shape, that oval shape that we're going for, um, and then just keep building it up. Once you get as dark as you would like it, um, we can then start moving it into the inner corner, um, but just for the... For the most part, just focus on the outer corner and really making that dramatic smoky eye. Then taking that fourth shade on the bottom row, we're going to be using the same mini crease brush that we were just using, and we're going to focus this on the outer corner um, with pretty much the same steps that we just took. This is going to just help deepen up the shade that we just applied. Um, it's really going to help, again, carve out the shade that we're going for, really smoking up the eye or really make the eye a little bit more smoky. Um, and yeah, just focus this shade on the outer corner to make it a little bit more dramatic and add um, the little bit more depth into this eye look. And once we build it out to the outer corner, we're gonna go ahead and bring it into the inner corner as well. And once we've got that shade to what we want, we're then gonna go in with our pop of color and we're gonna be using that gold shade. Um, and I'm going to be applying it. I find it's best with my finger. It's up to you if you want to use a brush. I would uh, recommend using a synthetic haired brush as opposed to a real hair brush. It just will help get the color on um, a little bit more uh, vibrant. And once we get that shade on with our fingertip, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out with that same Smashbox brush that we were using. And I'm just going to be going back and forth between applying the shade, blending it out, applying the shade, and blending it out. Um, once you get to the pigment that you would like, um, we can then move on, but I did this step, um, or went back and forth between this step a few times to really build, um, the shade that I like. And once that's done, we're then going to go in with Costa Riche by MAC. Love this eyeliner. It's really so beautiful for anyone who has brown eyes or is just trying to achieve a smoky eye. Um, it's my go-to. Um, and I'm just going to be applying this just on the waterline. And I am very messy when I apply this. Look, I don't even, like, use another hand or anything. So, again, there's no rhyme or reason in applying this as long as you just get it on the waterline and make sure it's heavily on there. So once that's on, we're then going to blend out or smoke out our waterline and that liner we just applied. And first, I was just using whatever product was on the brush. But then I started going in with that brown shade that we had first started using when we first started. And we're just going to use that and just really smoke out our waterline. I think this step is crucial. It's key to a true smoky eye, especially when it comes with, with to browns. I just feel like the look is just not complete. So then we're going to go ahead and do our brow highlight. And I'm using Champagne Pop by uh, Becca Cosmetics, my 
favorite of all time. And I'm just applying this with a flat top brush. It's a Lancome brush. And I'm just applying this pretty much just to the high points of my eyebrows, just to really make it pop and just bring a little bit more attention to them. Um, after I applied this, I found it wasn't bringing as much pop as I would like. So then I go in with the Balm uh, Mary Luminizer Highlight. And I just pop this on right to the high points of my brows, just to really, really make it pop and look very nice. So then we're going to just go ahead and pop a little bit of that gold onto our inner corner and then I put a little bit on to the waterline just a little bit just so that it really blends everything together and everything just ties really well. Um, but other than that, that is the last step and I'm just going to blend it out and this is pretty much what you guys should have. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>